Welcome to Festool TV. My name is Frank and today I'm going to show you how to integrate the TS55R saw in our CMS compact module system. Basically, I can of course install this new TS55R in the existing module panel of TS55, the predecessor model. However, to do this, I need several spare parts that I can order additionally. What this means is that this saw is backwards compatible with the corresponding spare parts. What should I do? In general, I have a module panel. This module panel has been changed. The adapters for depth adjustment and dust extraction, along with the corresponding intake, have been modified. Before I get started with installing the TS55R, I first unscrew the extractor hood from the riving knife. This knife will now be mounted on the TS55R. Just activate the fast fix system. In this way, the saw is locked into position and the saw blade can be changed normally. Now I can connect the bracket riving knife to the guide wedge. I accomplish this by pushing back the riving knife extractor hood bracket along with the guide wedge. I lock the whole mechanism and connect it with a screw to create a single unit. The bracket is mounted on the TS55R. In the next step, I install the bracket or adapter for depth adjustment. This adapter is pushed over the handle and screwed to the base panel. Next, I put the wrench back in its place. Now I can take the whole device, the TS55R, along with the attached parts, and connect it to the module panel. The clamping jaws in the front and rear sections are tightened to ensure that the saw is firmly installed on the module panel. Now I can check the functionality of the system. The fast fix lock is released. The depth and angle adjustment is tested. All functions work. Next, we attach the continuous operation device to ensure power supply. Now I can rotate the entire module panel and install the saw in the base unit. There's an encoding item on the side, on the edge of the module panel. It's designed to ensure that the switch remains in the correct position to the saw during installation and to prevent the module panel from being accidentally rotated in the wrong direction. The whole unit is then screwed in place. The saw is moved upwards. The extractor hood is installed and finally, the extraction hose and power cables are connected.
und letztendlich jetzt mit der Absaugung bzw. mit der Stromversorgung angeschlossen. And this was the installation of the TS-55R in an existing CMS system. I look forward to meeting you next time at Festool TV. Yours, Frank.